Welcome back. I'm Ted Thomas. In this episode, what is the difference between a tax lien and a tax deed? Now, when I finish that, I'll also go on and tell you how to, some inside tips on how to make money. And before I finish, I'm going to show you some mistakes that you really need to avoid. So stay tuned. I'll come right back. What is the difference between a tax lien and a deed? So I'm going to give you the who, what, where, when, and why of tax lien certificates. So who issues these things? Well, actually, the state legislature authorizes the county to do that. And the county will issue a tax lien certificate if you haven't paid your taxes on your property. So what's really happening here? Well, a tax lien certificate is simply saying this property owner has not paid their property tax. Now, 50% of all the counties in the United States will sell tax lien certificate. If the owner doesn't pay, they're going to issue a tax lien certificate. When you raise your hand at auction and buy one, you're buying a certificate that's predictable, it's certain, and it's secure. You will not get possession of the property. You only own a piece of paper when you buy a tax lien certificate. But why would you want to buy that? Well, you'd want to buy that certificate because the county will pay you 16%, 18%, 24%, all the way up to 36% interest on that certificate if it stays outstanding. So it's a chance for the investor, especially a newcomer, to make money in a predictable, certain, and secure environment. Now, why on earth is the county selling those tax lien certificates? They're selling those certificates because the county has a ton of bills. What do you mean they got a ton of bills? Well, who pays the police department and the sheriff? Who pays the fire department? All those bills have to be paid. Well, what about the school teachers and the schools? Someone has to pay for that. So you're getting the idea. The county collects property tax, and then they pay it out to all of these different entities. Okay, those are called tax lien certificates. So again, half of the states in the United States will sell tax lien certificates. They're always sold at a county level or a municipal level. But what's the other side of that? Well, the other side of that is tax deeds. Now, half of the states will sell tax deeds. So half and half is 100, right? So the other half of the states are selling tax deeds. Now, what does that mean? Well, that means that that county, when that property went into default, what they simply did is they said, you're in default, and if you don't get us paid in so many days, then we're going to seize. That is, they're going to confiscate the property. In other words, they're going to evict the property owner. Their county is now going to own that property. Now, the county doesn't want any property. So what they're going to do with the property is they're going to auction it. And they're going to auction it for the back taxes plus any fees that were owed. So they don't necessarily mark it up to 100%. They say, we're just going to get rid of it because we want the tax money. In other words, the county's in the tax business, not in the property business. Now, what about you? Why would you want to know about that? Because now they're selling properties for 10 cents, 20 cents on the dollar. So what if you could buy a property for a 60, a 70, or an 80% discount? Do you suppose there's enough margin there? You bought it for 20 cents on the dollar? What is the difference between a tax lien and a deed? It's a huge difference. In one case, you're going to get a piece of paper. That's a tax lien certificate. No possession of the property. You just wait to get paid. When the people come in and pay, well, then you're going to get paid. Now, any state that sells tax lien certificates is a benevolent state. Now, what right gave me to say that? They're just not confiscating the property. So if they sell a tax lien certificate, sometimes the certificate can be outstanding for six months, sometimes it's a year, sometimes it could be up to three years. So in other words, they're not throwing those people out on the street. They're saying, look, you owe us the money, it will give you all of this time to pay that off. So if you own that certificate and it was paying at 18%, well, that would be a percent and a half every month for the first year, or 18%. Another 18% in the second year, that's a lot better than the B of A or the Wells Fargo banks paying at 1%. All right, so there's a big difference between tax lien certificates and tax deeds. A tax lien certificate, no possession, but you earn interest, 16, 18, 24, in Chicago, they pay all the way up to 36% interest. Think about that. You could have a nice portfolio growing quickly at that. Half of the states sell tax deeds. That means they're going to confiscate the property and then they're going to sell it. They don't care if there's a mortgage. They wipe out the mortgage. They wipe out any liens that are on the property. So you're starting to get the idea. The local government has lots of power and they're going to exercise that power. 
Why are they exercising their power? Because they need to get money in to pay the school teachers, to fix the roads, to pay the county employees. I think you're starting to get the idea. But right now we're covering what's the difference between a tax lien certificate and a tax deed. So a tax lien certificate, you're going to end up earning interest on a predictable, certain, and secure investment. You're going to get 16, 18, 24, up to 36%, depending upon which state you buy it in. And you're going to be able to do all that online, and I'll cover that in a little bit. But tax deeds, you're going to get a property. So think about that. It's going to be your property. Are you prepared to sell it? Are you prepared to fix it? What are you going to do with it? What's your exit strategy? A complete different business. I hope you're getting the idea. Okay, so let's think about how broad this business is. Tax lien certificates could be on every kind of property. Obviously, homes. You could have it on farms and ranches. You could have it on a commercial building downtown. For example, I've gone to auctions and bid on a certificate on a huge shopping center. They owed $100,000 in taxes, and I bid. I said, I'll pay the $100,000 of the taxes. Give me that certificate, because the certificate was going to pay 16%. Now, if I go to a money market, I'm not going to get 16%. If I go to Bank of America, I'm going to be lucky if I get 1%. So you're sort of getting the idea. So all property is taxed that's privately owned in the United States. All of it can either have a tax lien or a tax deed. Oh my goodness, you know, I forgot to even mention that. You know, from time to time, people ask me the question, can you use a credit card? Now, you can't use a credit card in all places, but I have some students, like I have Bill that works in Michigan, in 60 months, he bought 60 properties just using a credit card. So the answer to the question is, yes, some states will allow you to buy on a credit card. Now, I personally didn't believe that, so I went to New York, and in New York, they allowed me to buy a $300,000 property with a credit card. Now, I didn't use $300,000. I needed to put 30% down. So I put 30% down, and I did it with a credit card. And it's one of my examples that you might see in one of these lessons later on. Now, if you're not part of my community, I want you on board. So why don't I give you a gift? I said a gift, and my gift is a one-hour fast start program. It starts out by teaching you about tax lien certificate. The second part of it is all about tax defaulted property. And all you have to do is go below me and register it, and you can start that program today.